Hello and welcome to another Shram Guitars video. This is David Shram and today I'm going to show you how I voice the backs of my guitars. Now this is a Brazilian Rosewood uh, flamenco guitar back for a flamenco negra. The uh, braces are on there but I need to make them a little bit lower. So generally I like to uh, lower them down to about um, 550 thousandths of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my block plane here, get it set up, and right now with my caliper, there it's 600 thousandths. So, using my dished form, 15 foot radius dish, I'm going to take each brace down to that measurement. So at this stage, I've got the braces down to 550 thousandths. Now I'm going to bring it down a little bit more, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do some tap tapping on it using my tap tone hammer. You may have seen a previous video where I showed how I made these, and if you want to purchase one, there's a, a link and directions on how you can get one of these um, tap tone hammers down below. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tap tone hammer. I'm going to hold the top. I like to hold it right about here. And then I'm going to you're not going to be able to hear this, maybe not very well. So I'm just listening to the resonance and the various pitches that I get. And it's really kind of an intuitive thing, you know, after over 400 guitar builds, I kind of have a good intuition about the the sound that I want. So what I'm going to do is I want it to be a little bit more resonant. So I'm going to lower these a little bit more. But also when I bevel the ends of these, that's going to affect the tap tone as well. So this is just one of the stages. So I'm going to take this down to about, I don't know, let's give it about five strokes here. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna wanna measure it to see how far that took it down. I think it took it down maybe about 20,000. Let's see. Yeah, 15 to 20,000. Um, give it a little tap here. A little bit more resonant. I want a little bit more resonance, so let's do five again. One, two, three. Actually, I'm going to do three. One, two, three. It's really starting to get closer to the resonance I want. Okay, let's do three more. One, two. I'm going to do two because I'm close. I don't want to overshoot it. One, two.
measure it. So right now I'm about uh, 510 thousandths. I'll do three. One, two, A little bit more resonant. Okay, these are about uh, four ninety five. This one's, I think it was at five ten. 515. Knock off a little bit more here. Probably pretty close. Go a little bit more. There we go, right at uh, half an inch, 500 thousandths. We got some jets flying over. We have the National Guard base here, the Fresno Clovis area. Okay, so now that I have a, the height that I'm looking for here, I'm gonna give it another tap. That sounds pretty good because now when I do the um, the bevels here, um, that's going to make a difference uh, as well. All right, so that's my next step. Now here's how I scallop my braces. I've marked from the end of my soundboard. Now my, I mean, the back. The the back here is the exact shape of my uh, back. It's there's no extra, so this is exactly where I want it. So I measure uh, 2.6 um, of an inch, I, and I've put a line on my braces. So from the, the outside of the plantilla, or the shape of the guitar, the outline, I've put some marks here on the guitar. So this is where my bevel, this is my target of where I'm going to do, do the scallop. And then I don't know if you can see the lines here on each of the braces. Sorry about the jet noise. National Guard is doing some exercises. So I got some jets flying around the town. Okay, so the, um, the way I gauge how far I'm going to make my scallop is I have a, a quarter inch nut file and a 3 inch nut file. And what I've done is I've actually drawn two lines. I take the, the nut file, I put it here, and I, I draw a line on both sides of the, the braces for quarter inch, and then I do 3 16ths as well, and I'll, I'll mark that uh, with the, the pencil here. So on both sides of the braces, I have those two lines. So first I'm gonna scallop to the quarter inch I'm going to use my tap tone hammer, test, hear the resonance, see how the, what it affects the changes. And um, then if I feel like I need to go more, I'll go to the um, 3 sixteenths. And if I need to go even further, I'll even go down to uh, 1 eighth on that. But generally 3 sixteenths is pretty good. So you'll find this scallop really is going to change the uh, uh, vibration and the tap tones on the back. 
And now this is all intuition. There's not any specific uh, tap tone I'm aiming for. Okay. Just looking for a certain resonance that I know uh, just from feel. Okay, so I'm gonna do a, uh, a time lapse video of me going through that process. Okay, I've got everything down to around a quarter of an inch here. And hear how it sounds. So I have a bass line. all over okay starting to loosen up a little bit more but I think I'm gonna go down to the, the 3 16 on this all right so I'm gonna do that now okay, I've now got the scallops down to three sixteenths of an inch and I'm gonna use my tap tone hammer this is a from a piano hammer that hits the strings on a piece of this is Brazilian rosewood again if you want one of these go down uh, the description below and you shows you how you can purchase one to help support the channel thanks oh yeah that's really loosened it up Okay, so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to round over the, uh, the brace. Right now it's pretty square. Um, so I'll take one of these little mini planes here. And I'm going to start creating a, a round over here. Usually do about five on each side. I doubt it's changed anything, but what the heck, might as well check it. Don't think it really did anything. getting closer to the shape I want. Yeah. <clears throat> now I'm going to start doing uh, more um, bevels on there to get it more round here. Also fine tune the the shape you want with your hand scraper. Mini hand plane just helps get there a little faster. Let's get, do this middle one.
brace. Just want a nice smooth radius here. It's gonna help lighten up the brace a little bit. That's it a little bit. I can tell there's a little bit of a difference. So I'm going to smooth this over with a sanding block. The sanding block I was using has a, a radius to it. I don't know if you can see that. And um, I think I got these from Rockler. Um, I'll put, put these in the description to the tools that I used. So I put the sandpaper on there and then I, I uh, did this, uh, sanded it with uh, 120. I'm going to do 180, 220, and 320. I like these uh, Norton papers. I'll put these in the description as well to the sandpaper that I use. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to sand all this. I'm going to listen to it one more time with the tap tone hammer. Yeah, that's sounding right where I want it. So I'm going to go through and sand this with the different grits here. First it was the Jets, now it's the neighborhood gardeners are out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I wanted to mention, I didn't talk about this tool here. This is a, a, a one inch wide, uh, I think these are called a, a paring chisel. This was in a previous video on some of my favorite tools. This is one of the first chisels I bought. Now it's probably like maybe a half inch to an inch shorter. I did buy another one because I, uh, I really love these uh, chisels. I think it's the Sorby chisels I could be wrong I'll find it and put it in the description but this is one of my favorite tools I love this tool so anyway I'm going to start sanding this and um, you don't need to see that but um, I'll show you the uh, final back mm -hmm. 